Chuck, right? But that doesn't really work. He's not <laughs> Nope. It was Even Josie is not completely boosted. Oh, right? no. There's she plays completely different. I mean, the way she flows is, is definitely not the same. She doesn't fight at the same ranges. Okay. So it looks like we have Leo here from uh, Bloodhawk. Okay. Which we kind of expected versus Rob Jin. We got Heihachi, one of the the rarest characters to see in this game. Seems like Mishimas are not as popular. Too much work for a lot of people. Oh, we are in the fav my favorite stage. We got three floors to go down. So many floor breaks. Yep. And if you if you're one of these uh, players here, you need to know those combos, especially if you have three opportunities to deal on way more damage. So I'm sure you're gonna see a lot of spike moves from both Leo and from Heihachi here. So I like the pressure that Bloodhawk is establishing right now. It seems like Rob Jin is defending himself real well with the wall standing 4-4. Four yep. And that was a good option there from Rob Jin. Um, Heihachi's uh, health shoot to the Thunder God Fist. Floor break. Is Lava Bun. Danny 4, yep, into the follow up. 1, 2, 4. So much life. Nice and consistent. And great stuff there from Bloodhawk, yep. able to get that read. Closes out the first round. Fight. Okay. I still like what I was seeing from Rob. Nice break on the 1 plus 2. Yeah, as I was mentioning, that Hell Sweep to the Thunder Goddess is a lot less punishable now. So it is used as a legit mix up option for landing a Hell Sweep. Oh, that's good because I hate when you never get counter hit by Hell Sweep and then you just block the second one forever. Yeah, and they get bodied. <laughs> yeah, so I like that. There's a real mix up there. Door break. He can get 1 4 1 again with the standing 4. Oh nice. my goodness, that does so much life. Nice consistent damage. I mean, that's something that really Leo needed. Yep. Especially since a lot of her options are gone because you take out the tag and bound mechanic. No, that's true. And it's still fair. You know, he did that whole long extended combo, and it really only did half life on the action. Yeah, I mean, and also, that's only going to work in this stage. It's not going to work anywhere else. This is the only stage that currently has four breaks. Yep. KO. All right. We are Round three. two rounds to nothing right now in favor of Bloodhawk. Okay. Yeah. Oh, got a um, big damage incoming. This is going to hurt. Floor break again. And again, uh, standing Kenny four. The wall. Oh, wow. It hits side splash. Yep. That was actually half life. Back one four. Yeah. And, slow and, and that's what's cool about this stage. It really enables everyone to have. Wow, great stuff there. It really enables everyone to have a huge high damage combo, nice fifty percent combo at the very least. Yep. Game over. Oh, he's stretching now. It's, I think. I think this is the time. This is the time. Time to get serious. <laughs> so Rob Jim, we'll see if he has any other characters at his disposal. Welcome One thing that's interesting to note, uh, I know that the seven. North American players ha usually have a lot of diversity as far as pad players, stick players. Uh, everyone is playing on Japanese stick here at this tournament. And I mean, I think that's kind of required for King Iron Fish 2015, Correct. right? It's a cabinet uh, based it's, tournament. This is the arcade tournament, yeah. Of course it's the arcade tournament. They haven't announced yeah, it for probably yet, no? in case battle. anyone's asking. Oh, he switches to Kazuya, who I believe is probably one of the more buff of the, the Mishimas. Okay. Summer we'll see. So I believe the sides are swapped now. Yeah. Round yep, one. they are. Okay. So Rob Jin is on the player one side now, and Bloodhawk is on player two. Interesting to see. I guess he wants his back dash. Okay. Oh, nice counter hit. He went Did for the not, launch there. Yeah, he wanted an electric, I believe. Yeah. He got down forward two instead. It doesn't matter. He still did a ton of damage here to Bloodhawk. Oh. Down forward two. Full combo. Okay, and the follow up. He didn't want to go for the shoulder OP after. Nope. Counter hit. Oh man, oh, man. he had a he had a better opportunity yes. there, but good OP on the wake up there, able to close out and get the first round. So he's on the scoreboard finally. Oh, and that is a, a new move. I, I oh, love that. Of course, before one, it's not that it's new; it gets used more now. It's low and it's plus frames on hit. Uh, oh, and, uh, yeah. I was talking about the wall standing four follow up. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 That's a new animation on her wall standing four, and then she also has wall standing four one plus two, which is a new move. It's guaranteed uh, on it's normal guaranteed hit. It's guaranteed on normal hit. Uh, you can interrupt with jab in between, so it's uh, not. But um, it's still really good. It's actually minus 14 on block, but most characters cannot punish. Oh, they got that special pushback? Yeah, it magic. does. I found that Paul can punish if you use uh, Sway into his, I forget the name of it, the first Demo Man shoulder thing that he does. Yep. That actually can punish. Interesting. Uh, most moves can't reach, though. Okay. No nice break. throw. Health sweep uh, opportunity. Now what? Nice oh, man. Carry. No real combo, though. Yeah, he had the wall there. It would have been difficult either way. Oh, not good. That knocks down every single time now. Yes, it does. Oh, no. Th there was a punish there. Good block. Oh, my God. KO. All right. 
and just just these basic fundamentals are really carrying Rob right now. In this stage transitions, by the way, so whenever a player is on match point, uh, it becomes infinite stage. Yep. Which could be good or bad depending on the type of person that's playing. Yeah. But we'll see how this carries out. And Bloodhawk right now mounting a, a better offensive, going for bigger risk. Wow, wow while rising. Instant, instant while standing. That was sick. Oh, no. Okay, that was a setup. Yeah. yeah back turn <laughs> trick. Nice break. Don't touch me. Back one four again. That was so annoying. Final round. Fight. Okay, nice. nice block. That was clutch. You needed that and should be able to get a decent amount of damage here. Ender? Oh. No. Okay. He went for Oki. And that's a good Oki move to use. Again, that move knocks out every single time now. Doesn't have guaranteed damage afterwards, but great Oki option. It's not just about that, but also it's about that she doesn't need to go into full crouch anymore for a good low. Yeah. Really nice. No more no more from crouch uh, that that low sweep that she has. But Bloodhawk takes it. Bloodhawk takes it. Nice comeback there, especially after being down two rounds. Yep. 2-0, I got it, bro. Yeah, I got it. All right. So we got the next match coming up in just a minute, guys. Stick around. Okay. So we have uh, Fighting GM versus Loke LOC. F3 GM, yeah. hot off of his win in Tag 2 in SoCal Regionals. That was